good afternoon to all my dear students as we are doing this day the to find the determinant using the property without expanding so my dear students as i as i know that the, the, some students they are getting confused and confused and they are feel the difficulty to prove the this this type of the determinants so i am taking two question here to explain all these things please note down carefully these things so first is i am taking the one question with the help of the question i am explaining you how to do these questions so i have the question we have given this so in this question first thing uh, you have to we have to see that what is, what we need in the right hand side as in this question we need a plus b plus c whole q and this is given so first thing is that we have to see in the question how to make it a plus b plus c so we have not here but here we can we are finding here if i will add this with this with row 1 row 1 with row 1 i will add row 2 and row 3 then i will get here a minus b plus c then 2b plus 2b plus 2c and by simplify we got we will get here easily the a plus b plus c so this is, uh, hint i got from this here so for that i'm doing the operation what operation i'm doing using r1 r1 plus r2 plus r3 means on row 1 we have to add row 1 row 2 and row 3 so why doing this we got here by this we got here a plus b plus c like this now b c we saw from here in row 1 a plus b plus c is common so what's the thing is common take it out so as we got here a plus b plus c is equal to 1 1 1 and these elements so this is uh, when we reached in these steps when we got 1 1 1 in any of the row or any of the column that means you are exactly near the answer at that times so then after that i told you that you have to make maximum number of zeros in any of the row or any of the columns but you have to keep in mind one thing that here when you are applying on the rows all this operation one row yeah one column you have to keep untouched means untouched means you have not to do any operation on the any of the row any one of the row or yeah columns as i did here but i'm doing here i'm applying the operation on column now as i told you in elementary operation we have to do only by the one method either in row row yeah either in column but when we are doing this type of the question you can mix here so here i'm keeping this as it is column one as it is all the element of column one i will not disturb because this is the one of the uh, rule for this also if you will do this by mistake then you will not get answer so better to keep any row uh, any columns all elements uh, untouched so i keeping this as so from here now i'm apply, applying the uh, uh, properties on c2 and c3 so from c2 and c3 i have to make zero so i know how to come zero if i will subtract these two then it will come zero this and this so for making maximum zero now i'm doing the operation on c2 c2 minus c1 c2 minus c1 c on c3 c3 minus c1 so what we got like this and after that i got here a plus b plus c and maximum zero and in which row or column we got maximum zero x we will expand it by that so now i'm taking expanding by the column sorry row one then a plus b plus c is equal to like this and now a plus b plus c so taking common a plus b plus c common from from c2 and c3 because c2 and c3 we have minus a minus b minus c and c a minus a minus b minus c so nothing we can take from here common a a plus b plus c by taking common minus here by taking minus common we can take also a plus b plus c so that's why i took here a plus b plus c common so now we have a plus b plus c whole q and now explaining by this we will see here one one the one and then zero so here is a plus b plus c horizontal power three and which is equal to your left right hand side so hence it is proved a plus b whole q so it means uh, uh, the main thing is that here first thing we have to see the right hand side what is given in the right hand side so try to make that here
so for making that it will gives you the step it will gives you the hint to make that the equal so when we will get that things after that the uh, you have to make any of the all row or any ele element of any columns yeah i need error rows equal to one 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 so when you will got that after that you will make it a maximum zero so let's see the now another one question this is the questions and we have to make one plus a square plus b square whole q so here it is whole q so for that what i have to do i have to check here a plus one plus a square now we need b square but there is minus a b square so now the question is how to make it a b square so by taking any row or any column you have to make yeah by multiplying yeah by dividing also you can do here yeah by splitting the terms also you can do here but i according to me about what is the easy way easy way is that if i will multiply with this row two sorry row three by b and then adding this with row one then definitely we'll get the this thing so as i did here applying row one r1 plus br3 so by doing this i got one plus a square plus v square is equal to 2ab and this zero this minus b common sorry b common minus a square minus b square minus one and this element has the same so again i got here i got here this is the next step what i got here i got here 1 plus a square plus b square common so taking from row 1 row 1 all elements from here we take 1 plus a square plus b square common so the element left here is 1 0 minus 1 2 a b 1 minus a square plus b square 2 a and like this and now we got here 1 plus a square plus b square but we need q so for that again we have to see here which element i will make equal this so for that multiplying with the a and subtracting so i use these operations here so by doing these operations i got here one zero minus b zero a square plus b square plus one a into a square plus one two b minus two a one minus a square minus b square so now here again taking common one plus a square plus b square from row to all elements from there